Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Um, this is going to be a Scorpio reading for April 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. So it's looking like um, you're very balanced in your life right now. You know, you got rid of a lot of game players. Uh, you know, you're done with games. You're done playing games. And now it's just time for you to relax. And oh, that's pretty shuffle. Um, but we have um, uh, the Venus-Pluto-Mars conjunction. Right now you could just be cleaning up things in your life. Uh, the Venus-Pluto-Mars conjunction going on. So balance is still happening. But Scorpio, you versus them. For April 2022. Three more shuffle Scorpio. You versus them. For April 2022. Last shuffle Scorpio. You versus them for April 2022. So with poised here Scorpio. I feel like um, you're living your best life right now. You know you're getting all your blessings right now. Um, but you can have choices that you're still kind of trying to make. Um, about like with someone here milk and honey I feel like you guys are a good are very compatible a good couple or it's like um right now you're just trying to go with the flow happy happy right now I feel like you know you're in a very good spot by the book I feel like uh, you could be on the road to like marriage uh, the road to righteousness or it's like you know um, you're trying to do everything right you could be signing contracts and paperwork moving going back to school um you could also be relocating, getting, like, a new house, uh, fixing, like, court paperwork, stuff like that. On your person side, exchanging gifts. I feel like, you know, they don't mind helping you out. They don't mind spending their money on you. They don't mind helping you out in your weak spots. Like, you know, let's say you're not good at mm, making money. You know, they don't mind making the money for you. See, between worlds. But you could have kind of one foot in, one foot out. Uh, you could be kind of wanting to go back to the past just because you're more comfortable there. But I feel like it's a cycle for you where you keep trying to do the right thing and deal with the right people, community. Truth be told. Here and now. But I feel like, you know, there could be like, uh, I feel like you're shedding your past life. And you're trying to focus on the here and now. But it could be like a pattern for you where you tend to constantly go back to the past. And I don't mean to trigger anyone or offend anyone. But that's kind of a mental illness. It's kind of like your brain's in a loop. The definition of insanity. Over and over again. So just be mindful of that. No amount of guilt can change the past. And no amount of anxiety can change the future. Just remain happy and stay present see higher power i feel like there's a higher power here you know it's like if you're helping out a lot of people or a lot of people are helping you that's kind of why because the most high is, is stepping into your life i feel like you're rising from the ashes here see a leg up in the center I feel like you and this person are helping each other out and this person could be mending your broken heart or it's like these friends and stuff like that you know, it's like they're fixing it with you. Poised, TikTok, co-create. And I feel like it's only a matter of time um, that you're going to be working with the universe, getting every, all, every, like all your blessings. You just have to go with the floor right now, flexible. Even if it feels like a disaster, chaos and conflict, blessed. I feel like you're going to be getting your blessings and you're exactly where you're supposed to be. So again, I feel like you kind of have one foot in the past, one foot in the present. Especially with that here and the now in the center. And the round and round. It's like a pattern for you. But I feel like you're going to be successful where you're at. So Scorpio, you versus them for April 2022. Two more shuffle Scorpio, you versus them April 2022. Last shuffle Scorpio. See, the temple path and the sun. I feel like you're on the right path. You just have to choose to be happy. Try not to um, go back to the past. And, you know, because I feel like 
you could be feeling like there's something missing but i feel like it's more um like it, it's more like you're not accepting what happened in the past or you're not i don't know let me get more details so the sun poised you're living your best life i feel like you're you're with the happiness card here the sun card you're gonna be happy a lot of things could be coming to light for you. Your heart is slowly opening up, I feel. Um, action. And it could be because of this balance that is happening and this person is like making the effort, taking action. Or if you're not dealing with anyone, it's like you're taking the action to go with the people that um, the energy is reciprocated. You know, it's like you no longer want to deal with fake people who wear a mask. But at the same time, I feel like you want to go back to people who wear a mask and tell you what you want to hear. So, again, just be careful of that, okay? Um, musician in the mirror, I feel like you could be manifesting a lot of stuff. Or, again, you're walking away from manipulators. You see people who would wear a mask, who they would gaslight you, tell you one thing, do another. It's like they will, it was all smoke and mirrors. It wasn't real. And I feel like you're walking away from that. Again, I feel like you're living your best life, especially with the sun card here. Two different decks. I feel like you just need to make that choice to be happy and agree to walk away from people that, you know, just want to tell you what you want to hear. Um, with the adjacent possibilities, I feel like there's a lot of options here. Um, or there's so many things you can accomplish presently. You just have to be confident about it. You know, like there are so many doors opening for you. You just have to be confident where you're at. <clears throat> Attachment. I feel like the person you're dealing with is attached to you. Or this past person here that would help you out. They were dealing with a lot of people. And they could be kind of attached to you. But with the world card, that's over. The cycle's complete. Like you've already learned everything you needed to learn. Like I feel like. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like your person here. Um, if you're not dealing with like past people, you don't care about past people. It's like you're still in the process of walking away from the past. You're still getting over it. Then in that sense, um, this person, you know, could be a new person. They're attached to you and they want to give you the world. The thinking woman. See, but you could be thinking about a past person here again that I feel like is just not a good person. And that's a constant energy I've been picking up for Scorpios. See, caring connections. I feel like you're walking away from people that pretended to care or they only cared, but they wouldn't do anything for you. Like they pretended to care or they would wear a mask or you're walking away from people you cared about. But again, they would wear a mask. And I feel like, you know, because you're walking away from all of that, um, you're going into someone who actually cares about you. See, door to romance. See, I feel like there's so many doors opening for you in your love life. Um, you have to be confident, even if you feel like this person is broke, but they have your back. You know, money isn't everything. Um, see, six chakra, I feel like they're waking up. Uh, see, man holding a coin, and they're trying to work on their money. You know, they're, they're, they want to give you the world. And if it's a past person, you know, they're kind of waking up that they're attached to you and that this is over and they need to just work on their money. Because this is a seven here, which is seven often represent boundaries, people that steal from you, lie to you. You know, maybe they would lie to you for money. And you cared about them, but now you're walking away. So I feel like you're in the right path here, Scorpio. And even if you don't feel like it is, see deceit. All tied up. But it's like you're you're gonna be if you I don't know, you're gonna be dealing with liars that will keep you stuck. And they have other people. So just be careful, Scorpio. Be careful. I feel like you'd be thinking about someone with that musician there, but especially with the deceit, like it's not a good person. The sun, goddess in the moon. I feel like the more you work on yourself, your own spirituality, and your own, um, like, no offense, sex addictions, your own lusts, your own desires, and you are on the right path, you're going to have a happy family. 
So just be careful, Scorpio, okay? To each their own, you know? I mean, sometimes people have to learn their lessons the hard way, and that's 100% up to everybody. See, I feel like right now you're very grounded. You're in the right path. See, positive movement forward. Things are going to get better for you. They're going to keep getting better for you. See, we have 333 three, three here and another 3 right there. So I feel like, you know, you're dealing with a lot of people, authority, who um, are in control of themselves, and they will help you out. A 3 is you, them, and the most high. It's also partners, teamwork. But you could be kind of bored. Hey, maybe you're used to toxic things. I don't know. So Scorpio, you versus them, April 2022. See, I feel like right now you're getting your blessings, recognition, reward. You're being blessed for everything that you've been through. Disruption. And things are completely changing for you. That's another seven. If you're dealing with liars, cheaters, people that would take from you, waste your time, that's over with. Crown chakra, you're on the right path. Accelerated motion, memories of love. I feel like things are going to get a lot, like start becoming a lot faster for you, a lot more serious, but you could still be reminiscing the past. Okay, but there's such thing as toxic, toxic nostalgia, where it's like you keep replaying the good times in your head. But again, those times don't exist. Stay present. Um, see financial material changes. You know, I feel like even if you feel like you're struggling right now, material harvest, you know, you can have a lot of stuff. Sometimes, like, you know, I've met some really rich people in my life, you know, financially rich. Um, and they won't have a lot of money in the bank because they have a lot of stuff that they're paying for. And that could be your situation. So count your blessings. See, new beginnings. I feel like there's new beginnings in your life here. Throat chakra. Uh, this person is communicating more authority i feel like right now is just um you see things are going to be getting a lot more serious for you or right, the more that you master yourself um see solar plexus chakra you just need to remain confident about your past you know it was what it was power i feel like right now you're 100 percent in your power you're in a good spot and just keep the faith on your blessings you will get everything that you want stand your ground you see um, I feel like there's new beginnings in your life because you're standing your ground. It's also like this person, you know, they're they're making sure they have a reset with you. Fulfillment of wishes and throat chakra. It's like this person is telling you everything that they want to he that you want to hear, but it's not a bad thing. And if you're dealing with the past person. You could be waiting for them to tell you some sort of truth because, again, it's some sort of desire or strong sexual connection. But I feel like that's just getting you stuck in your head while you're growing and moving forward. I feel like they're just going to go and be going through changes. You're going to get more balanced out. Your hearts are going to be opening up. They're going to be going through changes. You could be afraid of this person. Um getting in a relationship but you see temptation i feel like this person is toxic you need to make good choices like i feel like you have a good head on your shoulders and you have someone that will help you out if that's like a past person but okay let me okay the good person scorpio is dealing with again i feel like you just have to wait for your blessings with the fulfillment of wishes throw chakra scorpio you versus them see you're on the right path to getting all your wishes you need to let go of control issues and just be patient and plan things in your life. What is the solar plexus chakra, Scorpio? Okay. See, I feel like you're going to be successful even if it feels boring right now. Even if it feels stagnant. Even if you feel like, okay, this is kind of, I'm getting over this. Um, the truth is, you're going to be successful. You're going to be blessed. Like, this person's going to be helping you out, or it's a new person coming in that's going to be talking to you, and this person has a good head on their shoulders, and it's going to be something that you were wishing for if you're not dealing with anyone. See, spiritual strength. Right now, it's like, if you are dealing with someone, you and this person are very independent, you're strong, uh, your hearts are open, 
See, patient. Just be patient in making your choices. I feel like this person is planning a lot of stuff for both of you guys that they're wishing for with you. And you just have to remain confident. And they have to just be patient for these things to come in. On your side, what's the authority? Accelerated emotion, memories of love. See, trapped in fear. You could be afraid of past people, afraid of the past repeating itself. And I feel like where you're at is something worth celebrating for. Rejoice in celebration. And that is it. Excuse me. I bit my tongue. I got dental work done. Um, this is just the truth. You know, I feel like you just, where you're at is something worth celebrating. Try to remain balanced and aligned. By the book, round and round and here and now. But I feel like it's a pattern where you constantly want to go back, Scorpio. Okay, if Scorpio wants a past person back... You see, I feel like it's just keeping you stuck in your head. Be careful, Scorpio. See, I feel like um, this person here, they're starting to love themselves more. But right now, you guys are getting grounded, like more balanced out. If this is a past person, again, it's like they're loving themselves more and they're learning how to be more patient. If this is a new person, Scorpio... Or if they're not dealing with anyone, new person, or not dealing with anyone, firm foundation. It's something good. The new person will be good. They'll have your back. Awareness. And I think you know that. Like, you you know that, like, if, um, um, that if a new person comes in or the person you're dealing with is just a lot better. See, truth. And it could be a, a good sexual connection too. But I feel like you guys are very balanced out. You guys might end up getting pregnant, having kids with this person. Positive movement forward, disruption, transformation. And to be changing a lot of things. You know, um, there could be a lot of, again, past people or just temptations, lusts. So make good choices. Make sure you go to someone who actually has your back. And speaks the truth. There was the Ace of Swords under that. And this is just all from experience here, see? All from experience. There's going to be new beginnings in your life. Scorpio, you versus them. April 2022. Scorpio, you versus them. April 2022. There's new person or Scorpio is not dealing with anyone. One last shuffle, Scorpio. New person or if you're not dealing with anyone. Because that past person, I feel like they just told you what you wanted to hear. And yeah, so um, with finances and career, things are getting better uh, for you financially. Yes, you might be feel like they're str uh, struggling here. Just make sure you spend your money on, on good things, okay? It's not how much you make, it's how much you spend. See, forgiving and learning. You could be getting a new relationship with money. Or it's like you're learning how to, um, to re-love again. What card was it? Okay, I don't know anymore. But it's like as you forgive and release the past, you experience more love in your present moment. See, get out of your head, guys. I feel like it's a constant cycle where you guys go back. Scorpio, you versus them, April 2022. And keep an open mind. See, I feel like um, new person or if you're not dealing with anyone, you're going to be getting a soulmate here. Just get out of your head, Scorpio. You versus them, April 2022, last shuffle. Any other messages? See, new love. See, this could be a new person or you're going to get a new person. And it's going to be everything that you want. Love begins, you know, um, this person's on the right path. Even if, you know, they may be struggling a little bit financially, there's a lot of chemistry there and it'll be true love. The top of the deck, soulmate. You know, this could be a lot of childhood traumas you're still healing. Um, like, if you guys were abused or you weren't taught the proper love, you know, you weren't shown it. Um, that could be a red flag that you still have to heal and make the effort on changing. Uh, I feel like um, that person, uh, if it's a new person, they could be helping you heal this stuff. You know, and it's because of the effort that they're putting in. With a separation card here. 
Um, you could be separated from someone, but again, I feel like where you're at, it is safe for you to love again. You know, I feel like this is something that you're waiting for, or it's like, um, this person has been waiting to find someone like you, and it's safe. You know, this person is a safe person. But alright guys, I'm going to go and close it out here. If this resonates with you, uh, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.